I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I know in the previous video I said that there would be another upload on Wednesday. There is gonna be a next video next week. Um, but the reason for today's video is to explain why I couldn't upload on Wednesday. But please forgive me guys. And yeah. Uh, but before I go any further, I'd like to welcome you guys on another vlog with Snap the Chance. So yeah, I'm editing this video as we speak for Sunday's upload, which is today if you guys are watching it on Sunday. Um, yeah, the um, reason why I'm making this video is because we have uploaded 10 videos on YouTube already. So I thought it was fair enough for me to give you guys a little bit of background on who I am and giving you guys the platform to ask me anything that you guys want to know about me. And I only got a, a couple of responses or people asking me questions. So yeah, that's what today's video is going to be all about. Um, but yeah, I hope it's going to be interactive and that you guys enjoy today's footage. So yeah, guys, um, I really don't want to make the video too long. So that it ends up boring you guys. Um, I wanna keep you guys intrigued. The reason for today's video, I just wanna give you guys a little background about me, answering the questions that you guys uh, had for me, as well as giving you guys the little mini life update that's happening right now. And yeah, also I wanted to test out um, uploading on a Sunday, engaging if you guys would like the content being uploaded on Sunday. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys don't mind it, but I just want to see where it will end up. Uh, if you guys make it to the end of this session, I'll give you guys a bonus footage of an event that we went to back in March, uh, the Josie Loop Night Run. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that bonus footage, make sure that you stick around, watch the whole video, and you might find cool ending to this session the reason why i didn't upload that bonus footage was because it was a late evening event so we lost uh we lost sunlight and then well i didn't want to take uh the rest of the footage because it was going to be dark and be a bit useless but the footage will be included in today's video of the few bits that we got so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it just make sure that you guys stick around until the end of the session for you guys to see that bonus footage that I'm including at the end of the session. So yeah. So yeah, um, a little background about me. Uh, my real name is Neo, uh, Neo Mokhatla, uh, born and bred in Soweto. I won't mention which part of Soweto I'm from. But I'm guessing some of you guys know already. Um, yeah, I matriculated in 2015 from Warsaw President, that's President High School. I'm a, uh, I graduated, oh, I'm a BCom Accounting. What? <laughs> I'm a BCom Accounting graduate from UJ, uh, short for University of Johannesburg. Graduated in 2018. Um, I was an intern in supply chain uh, for about two years. And yeah, that's a little summary about Neo, me, or Chance. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, guys, um, the mini life update that I wanted to tell you guys is that my work schedule is now kind of hectic. So I'm thinking it might affect uh, the upload quite a bit so I'm trying to find a way to juggle it and balance everything out um, but it's nothing that we can't handle so yeah um, things are stiffening up a bit it's just gonna be quite a lot on my plate videos are still gonna be uploaded well I'm not sure if the videos are gonna be uploaded still on a Wednesday or I might have to move it up to Sunday but I don't know um, Please tell me if you guys might be keen on Sunday uploads. Comment down below and tell me if you guys are keen on Sunday uploads. Um, but yeah, I know we've created a culture of uploading on Wednesdays, but things are a bit too much for me right now. So I hope you guys might understand. Hopefully we can still find or create another culture of having Sunday uploads. But yeah, 
that's the life update that I wanted to give you guys. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, before we go any further, please make sure that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and guys, uh, from my video analytics, I found out that 96.6% of you guys are not subscribers to the channel. Uh, that's that's like around. 12,000 or 13,000 uh, from my calculations that I did on that well previously so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video it's only gonna help out the channel to grow but yeah all right q and I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram poll or questionnaire or yeah um if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please go to the link down in the description below. You'll find my link there. Give me a follow just to be updated on whatever we're doing. And yeah. So yeah, we only so we got okay. Alright, so we got a few interactions from the Instagram. Actually guys, is it a poll or is it a questionnaire? Or, yeah, that ask me whatever. Um uh, yeah, we got a few interactions from that. I also had it on my WhatsApp. I even wrote it down on this notepad just so that I don't scroll around in my phone. Uh, yeah, just to save up on that time. Question number one What's your real name? Uh, like I said previously, my name is Neo. Um, Neo Mohata. Basa Tivinke Mosoto. Okay. Uh, yeah. Question number two. Uh, favorite song right now uh, That's a bit of a difficult one because I listen to almost anything uh, So just to give one maybe uh, oh. River Road by Jack Harlow Yeah Say that's one chill chill song to say it's my favorite maybe but yeah question number three favorite place to photograph at I wouldn't say that I have a favorite place to photograph at. Um, I like to use different spaces, but if a location doesn't work for me, I'll ask the person that I'm shooting with to change locations and then find a decent spot. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I have a favorite location to photograph at. Question number four, what do you like eating? Oh, anything quick. I eat junk a lot, but I'm trying to slow down on that bit, but um, <laughs> anything that's quick to make, um, I'd say if I were to make anything, probably any pasta dish, because it's quick and simple to make. Um, but yeah, question number five, what are your pet peeves? Yo, oh, guys, I hate it when someone sneezes or, or coughs without closing their mouth. I hate it. Maybe that's more of a general pet peeve, um, but pet peeves that I hate people well that people do on the road people that hog the fast lane uh, I, yo, that annoys me um, I myself don't drive a fast car but I never hog the fast lane um, if I am in a rush or anything I will hop on the fast lane go go by cut 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 it up and then go back uh, but yo but I hate it when people hog the fast lane and then they drive <coughs> below the speed limit. I hate it. Yeah, those are my pet peeves. Question number six: Are there are there specific goals you're looking to achieve with your YouTube channel, and how are you going to work to attain those goals? Yeah, yo, I have goals, guys. So I want to travel. First of all, I want to travel. I want to. Meeting new people is, is always a, a nice thing. Um, meeting different personalities, uh, just that in general. But my personal goals, I wanna, I wanna grow with YouTube. I wanna, I wanna have builds, my own builds on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, everyone wants to monetize from YouTube, so I want growth more than anything from YouTube. Um, right now, I'm doing YouTube as a side thing, but wanting to make it the main thing so yeah just want to go with youtube 
want to travel i want my own fleet of cars i want i want i want build obviously i'm gonna do all of that um showing it to you guys you know um just exploring man yeah i just wanna i just wanna show my whole thing everything with you guys and just go with it yeah how i'm going to work to achieving those goals i just need to keep filming everything that i do uh hoping that you guys enjoy the the content that i give you guys but yeah ideally i wanna i wanna have my own workshop the workshop that does almost anything anything cars uh from body work paint jobs tuning tuning your your cars giving you guys your stage one stage twos all that um repairs servicing all that that's that's my biggest thing i want to have my own workshop it all starts from me filming everything um investing some of my money into studying all of that hopefully everything comes to plan i hope it does but yeah question number seven do you consider how well you take pictures a talent or more of a hobby well it started out as a hobby which developed in it being a talent it started out as a hobby but yeah became more of a talent or a skill if i may say like i said previously youtube right now or me posting my instagram post um it's more of a side hustle for me but i want to make it into my main thing and then everything else will come following after but me taking pictures of cars and stuff i think it's more of a skill now so yeah question number eight what is the first car you remember raging over or the first car that you that got you this heavy into cars oh guys i wouldn't say there is a specific car that got me heavily into cars i've been into cars ever since um from childhood basically if i were to think of one or two cars maybe back when i was still young because you know like every child or every guy wants or wanted that um coupe with a with a convertible I'd say maybe like a bmw z4 was it the z3 was it four but yeah but there's no specific car man like i love a lot of cars so i can't pinpoint one specific car but if i were to probably be that bmw z4 but yeah oh, z4 question number nine why cars oh, why cars i don't know man i don't think i chose cars cars chose me <laughs> but yeah um i've been heavily into cars ever since um i remember me uh me and my dad when we used to go what drive and fetch my mom from work um, i used to ask him the different car names car models and all that yeah and i used to memorize every every car and asking my mom to buy me those cars when i grow up or and all that but yeah i've been into cars man um ever since i was a toddler to me being 24 years old i'm still still into cars uh it's been like that i don't think it's ever going to change uh but yeah i also remember this one time well not one time but course a series of events where i used to go with my mom to the mall um every time we went to the mall i never came back without uh a car like a car toy or something uh, i used to get mad grumpy and stuff when when i couldn't get one but i've always loved cars man it's been in me yeah. it's not in my blood <laughs> but yeah question number 10 Assuming that you are a car enthusiast, what gravitates more in a car for you? Is it comfort and style? Is it pure speed and power? And why? Oh. Well, it all depends. I, I don't think I'm more into one specific type of cars. Um, it could be anything, man. It could be uh, depending on what you want or, or what I want. Yo. If you want a comfortable car or more luxurious car, yeah, you, you obviously look more into that uh, or if you want pure speed and power you would go more into your sports cars, supercars and hypercars 
but uh, for me, for me it's everything. Uh, I can appreciate every type of car depending on what it's built for. Um, if it's built for comfort and luxury, I can appreciate that for being that type of car. But for me, for me now, what makes sense is sports cars. Um, I'm more into sports cars, pops and bangs. So for me now, what makes sense uh, for me right now, I'll, I'll, I'll look more into having a sports car or, yeah, so focusing more on speed and power. But maybe probably later on, I'll appreciate more um, comfort, more space and all that, but yeah. Question number nine, yo, question number 11. Why did you start uh, the YouTube channel and how long did it take you from it just being an idea to reality? Yeah, so the pandemic is what made me wanna do YouTube actually. Uh, the whole lockdown, sitting at home for months, it was more of a, I don't know, I, w I wouldn't say it's a midlife crisis, but I was questioning myself on like, now yeah, what do you wanna do? Um, is, is, is what you're doing now, what you wanna do forever, so, yeah, ever since the pandemic, I, I, I got more interested in starting the starting the YouTube channel. So just after the lockdowns started easing up, I, I started uh, investing more in, in, in equipment. I would say, um, well, the YouTube channel started in the 10th of February, 2021. The lockdowns, which started end of March, 2020, or beginning of April 2020. I started investing in my equipment from January 2021 and my first upload for the channel was back in February the 10th, 10-2. But yeah, that's when it became a reality um, back in, let's say Jan when I started buying my equipment and from February from the first upload of the channel. So yeah, um, I remember uh, driving around with my dad um, but to, to go fetch my mom from work. Um, question number 12. What happened to you taking pictures of people? I don't know if you guys know this, um, but I used to take pictures of people. Um, I have a separate Instagram account, which is photos by chance. Photos full stop by full stop chance. Um, yeah, it all started back in 2016. Uh, first year in UJ. Um, yeah, yo, I used to be so so much into that, but my love for cars made me shop a U10, and yeah, yo. But I think my last photo shoot of shooting people was back in 20, 2019, 2019, 2020. Not saying that I won't go back to having photo shoots of people, but my main focus now is of course YouTube and the whole thing of cars. But yeah, but it's something that I can still do, uh, but I just don't do it as often as I did. Question number 13. What course were you studying after UJ and how is it going with that? So I got a bursary from ACCA. This is back in 20, 2019. Um, a lot of things happened. Yeah, it just didn't happen uh, because that's when I started my, my internship. So. Yeah, balancing my internship and the bursary was a bit tough for me because yeah, I used to go to school during weekends, like Saturday and Sunday, Monday I have to go to work, so I didn't have a break at all. But two things happened and then I didn't, I didn't, yeah, it just didn't happen. So that's not happening anymore. I'm no longer an ACCA student, but yeah. Question number 14, where does the name Snap With Chance come from? Chance came on. Oh, snap with chance. Okay, um, I don't, I don't remember specifically who gave me the word chance, but I liked it and used it for the first Instagram page that I, uh, that I had, the photos by chance one. Um, and yeah, I had my personal Instagram page was the real nail underscore, or it was underscore the real nail. Then I changed my that one my personal page to snap with chance of course i took chance from photos by chance and whatever, whatever, whatever. but yeah that's where snap with chance came from but i don't remember specifically who gave me the word chance 
but I just liked it and yeah and it's not because I look like Chance the Rapper I don't look like Chance the Rapper but yeah that's Chance yeah not Chance oh. <laughs> question number 15 which car photographer gives you the most inspiration oh guys there's this guy from uh, Brazil I think um, he's Instagram page is self-made street culture. It's self-made, full stop, street culture. Uh, that guy is sick. He doesn't shoot video. Uh, he only takes pictures, from what I know. But yo, oh, that guy, that guy's pictures is great. But of course, also our local guys. Yo, there's a lot of guys, man. I, I've shot with a couple of photographers as well. Um, I'll make sure to also link the descriptions below. Um, but they're sick guys, sick pages. Uh, give them a follow, give them well, check them out and stuff. But yeah, there's a lot of guys that I get my inspiration from, uh, locally, internationally. But yeah, number 16. What is the hardest part when it comes to editing your photos or videos? I don't think there is any hard part when I edit my photos, um, because that's what I've been doing ever since. But when it comes to videos, is getting audio for the videos because first you have to find uncopyrighted music and you have to find music that's more suitable for your video uh, or the type of what emotion or energy that you want people to to have when they're watching your content so i think that's the hardest part when editing a uh, video um, i used to be slow of, of course when i started editing my videos but i'm getting quicker as time goes by but Right now I'm looking into well, having a subscription with Epidemic Sounds just to make everything simpler for me. But yeah, question number 17. What equipment and software do you use? Right now I'm, I'm recording with my Canon ATD. Uh, I'm using a Video Mic Pro mic. Um, also I'm shooting with my Nikon D3100. Um, that's the first camera that I got back in 2016 still using it to this day but yeah so yeah guys i'm vlogging with the canon ATD yo your hand ends up like this it's heavy pad like here so you must every time take a break and stretch your hand you know because wire wire you know, like this but yeah i wanna i wanna right now i'm looking uh, into getting like a mirrorless camera just to make my work simpler you can just vlog like this not not this software that i use i'm still using imovie and adobe lightroom 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 uh, for my photos but yeah i'm looking into upgrading and getting adobe premiere pro uh, for my video but for now i'm using what i have which is imovie but yeah um, I used to use uh, Adobe Photoshop, but that was on my previous laptop, which I sold not long ago. But yeah, I need to get Photoshop again, um, Adobe Illustrator as well. Question number 18, fastest car you've been in? <laughs> uh, yo, I think that's an obvious one. From I think it's two uploads back, um, you guys should check it out. I'll have the card displayed up, is it this side or that side? Whichever side, yeah. Fastest car I've been in is the Alfa Romeo Giulietta by Brandon. That car, oh, that car moves, guys. Jesus. But yeah, that's the fastest car I've been in. Please go check out that video, guys. It's, yeah, just give it a thumbs up. And yeah, make sure you share it as well. But yeah. Question number 19. What car do you drive now uh, and what mods do you have on it? Uh, Right now, I drive a Kia, it's a Kia Picanto. Uh, mods, yo, I don't have any mods on it, but um, I had lowering springs. Um, they were so uncomfortable. It had a sick, sick look to it. It was lower with a two finger gap. It's a four by four, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a Kia. I used to have those lowering springs, um, but I took them out and put the original springs back just for that comfortable ride because I'm always traveling to shoots and back so and it's a daily and yeah I only have a sound system in it I have a 12 inch um, 
12 inch subwoofer it's a Targa Super Street I forgot what my amp is now but I'll have the picture just display right now um, yeah my mid range is some um, what I have MTX mid ranges but I want to get wheels for the car well I have to replace my tires but I don't want to replace my tires now and then I'm gonna get wheels and then I have to buy other wheels as well so I just want to get wheels now and then buy new tires for them. so there's not much well there's no mods to it basically right now yeah please comment down below and give me any suggestions that I can get uh, on what wheels uh, that I can get just looking to, to make it nicer make it a presentable daily daily driver I don't want nothing hectic just the 15 inch wheel please suggest down in the comments below on which wheel and tire setup I should get. Next question, um, which car would you want to get in the next few years? Oh, guys, a BMW F82, an M4, basically. I can just see it already, guys. And then wrap it in set in white, have some sick wheels on it. Oh. But yeah, in a couple of years, guys, um, I'm hoping to get that car. Well, I will get that car. Um, yeah, F82. Have you guys seen that M4 bomb? <laughs> and of course, I'm gonna make it go round, round, and round, and round all the time. Uh, but yeah, uh, reason why, um, the power, of course, uh, the sound, yo, those pipes. But of course I might have an, a new exhaust system on it. But yeah, I like the raw sound of that BMW M4. Sick. Too sick. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the questions guys. That's it for the QA. I hope you guys like the content. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Share it or whatever. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, yeah, it's just gonna help out the channel to grow. But yeah, okay, um, since you guys have made it to the end of this session, um, and like I promised you guys early on the video, I'm gonna give you guys the bonus footage that I've been working on this week. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. I uh, thought it, it would be a great way to end off the video um, with what you guys are used to. So yeah, that's why I'm giving it to you guys. I hope you enjoy talking to me or me talking to you guys. But yeah, um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Uh, see you guys in the next upload. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video with Snap with Chance. Uh, it's currently Thursday morning. I'm heading to work right now. Um, later on, we have an event that we're going to that is organized by Race Wars. The Josie Loop Night Run. Um, it's gonna start at 6:30 p.m. and then it will leave there at 7:30 p.m. And yeah. Oh, and the meet is actually at Wood Meet. But that's what we're doing today. Hope you guys enjoy the content that we're gonna. Much, much, much later. What's up, guys? Uh, so I just knocked off from work. Right now I'm heading back home to uh, gather my equipment. And then, yeah, later on we'll head to Wood Meet. But for now, I'm heading home, and then we'll head there a bit later on, later in the evening. But yeah, so that we'll update you guys on the progress, on what's what, and all that. But yeah, I hope you guys are ready. We'll see you guys later. Later. So we just made it over to News Cafe Wood Meet. We got here just a bit earlier. It's currently six. 10 10 past 6 um, so I called the organizer of the meet uh, Nate he said he's gonna be here at around uh, 6.30 on the time actually but uh, other than that we'll just have to wait for everyone else just to start coming through but yeah he was banging cocktail waitresses two at a time players couldn't get a drink at the table what's wrong with you Ooh. 
Bring, bring my pain into the light Been the creature of the night For the bag it's been a fight But I guess that we alright We okay, we alright Oh, we okay, we alright We okay, we alright Well, I guess that we alright It's proper straight. Success is always certain Beat got smacked so I get the shit hurting These get signed and I do it in person TP smacked so we gotta go lurking Only profits that I've been serving Never had doubts so I gotta put work in Ooh, I got the gig I swear finally I feel purpose Bitch, I owe my shit till it's perfect uh, But none of it is though You're my older brother And I love you But don't ever take sides with anyone Against the family ever Ooh, bring, bring my pain into the light Been the creature of the night For the bag it's been a fight But I guess that we alright We okay, we alright Oh, we okay, we alright We okay, we alright Well, I guess that we yeah, alright I think it's been clear I can see the shit that one's really dear Plotting moves so the money clears I hear people talking and it's from the rear I back it up, make it so sincere I'm really about it and I'm really here You can't claim what you don't got But then again, you only claim thoughts Your name comes up with the what nots Your face tightens what not, yeah Don't need no trick on my sleeve I do it with ease They doubt and I leave them on leak Remember I take no defeat That's fast to believe I rap and I give no relief Ask a nigga cause I gave him relief My focus on me, never on he Yeah. I wish to have this car one day. Very soon. <laughs> Very soon, man. Right? Thanks, soon. man.